running six miles at a, I'd say, easy, steady pace. Did run this morning on the treadmill, and this is run number two. And I'm injured still, so feel sorry for me, please. <laughs> morning it's Friday and today we are out on the TPT I've not run since Sunday I'm gonna try and give it a little shuffle see how it feels I've been told not to run if there's any change in my running style due to any hip pain so we'll see how that goes last couple of days Wednesday Thursday you've run yes yeah, so short runs, I have yeah so um, I did a few treadmill runs this week in the morning um, and then I've done a couple of outdoor runs, uh, nothing really sort of significant, just uh, steady, easy pace, a few strides I think earlier in the week. Um, I'm racing uh, tomorrow, so it's been a, really, a little bit of a cutback week, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, so which actually worked well because it coincided with your having to reduce your sort of Yes, I, on the um, last two days I've been out on the bike, one a nice outdoor bike on the trail, along through some woods. And yesterday in Zwift Central Park. Very nice at this time of year. Yes. Okay. So now we're just going to uh, go for a little run up our trail. You know, the trail that you often see in these videos. Uh, it's a it's a lovely morning. It's uh, the, we had quite a bit of rain yesterday, so it's quite damp. But I can see through the trees up there the sun is coming out. So yeah, let's go and get this done and enjoy. just done a mile for John as part of his uh, rehabilitation coming back from his latest uh, hip niggle. 10.23, it's forwards, it's a pace. Yeah, absolutely. Um, happy enough to know I can complete a park run tomorrow in minor discomfort and get around the one we're planning to do which is reasonably flat to a lap. Uh, the aim is that he keeps his cadence low, uh, not to overstretch the area. Uh, it's more tightness now though, isn't it, rather than actual is, yeah. excruciating pain. So. Yeah, so it's probably better to actually keep moving and doing things yeah. rather than to think, woe is me, I must, must rest. Yeah, because what you find is that when you get up in the morning, your hip is stiff, isn't it? Yeah. But once you've started moving around, you've done some dynamic stretching, it loosens up and, and it allows yeah. you to move in yeah. a more fluid manner. I wouldn't have been able to do this two days ago. No, so, so that's really positive. So what you can see behind us, by the way, this is... Um, the local show field it's the annual show tomorrow um various slides and rides and food going uh, ahead. yeah we thought it might be cancelled rest in peace queen elizabeth uh we thought it might be cancelled but i think the local council have decided that obviously uh you can mark respect in in a different way and the show will go on so peniston show will continue tomorrow <clears throat> Welcome to Saturday. We have just done Poolsbrook Park Run. Uh, we've just done it in okay, just under 29 minutes. <laughs> um, and as I said, uh, a warm up for me this, for this afternoon because I'm doing a, a five mile race. And, and for, for John... me, it's 75% of my weekly mileage. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it was a good, wasn't it? Just to be able it, to get back out when, there. Yeah, when, when I've got a very tight hip and all sorts of complications, as you can see, it's just flat, nice soft path, three times around a lake, no complications no fancy stuff. So enjoy a little bit of the footage that you're about to see next and we'll catch you later at the Bassington Bassingham at the Bassingham Bash. <laughs> so we're now in the village of Bassingham in Lincolnshire it's just past one o'clock in the afternoon and the reason we are here is to do a five mile race. Well you are. <laughs> yes you were going to but unfortunately as uh, people know John uh, picked up a 
an injury, so... So he gets to eat an artisan croissant instead, whilst Owen goes to register. So this is advertised as a fast and flat five mile road race. It's organised by Newark Athletic Club, so it's probably organised club event with a UKA course measurement certificate and permit, so it counts official rankings. Yes, uh, my aim today is to try and take the female 55 club five mile record. So yes, I've got to beat uh, 36 minutes and 40 seconds today. So I'm hoping my legs will allow me to do so. It's a lovely day. Well, it is now, the sun's come out. Mm, it's a lovely croissant as well. <laughs> so the sun's out and it is a little bit breezy, but I'd say, yeah, very nice really. So, number 56. Shame I'm not running because I would have had a very nice number three. Just got it in case there's a race moment until at the end. <laughs> so as we can see, this number appears to have attached itself to my running vest. Those artisan croissants aren't half good. The idea is that my leg feels as good as it has done all week, probably from doing the park run this morning. It's maybe loosened things up a little bit. It's a race, it's a course. I'm more likely to do this and run five miles tomorrow morning because there's a finish line to get to, a sense of achievement. So we're going to give the Bashington, so, so we're going to give the Bassingham Bash a bash. In fact, we talked about this last night, the Bassingham Bash. We're going through as many race name suffixes as we could think of, such as dash, stagger, stride, etc. So let us know in the comments below, how many races have you done that have different um, words at the ending, such as bash, dash, stride, etc. We came up with what, about 14 in the end? Yeah. Yeah, see if you can beat 14, we'll be impressed. Um, surface was a bit sort of rutted in places but I think pretty good really and I did 35 I'm gonna say 35 11 but it could be 35 15 so uh, female 55 club record I'm gonna get yourself one of those watches that tells the time press, <laughs> well on my press start watch, at the beginning and stop at the end we, we have this at the end of everything don't <laughs> we <laughs> on my watch it said 35 11 elapsed time was 35 18 when I crossed the line it said 35 15 so who knows <laughs> and I survived the race somehow um, ran it progressively I reckon this impediment is meaning I can't get up to race pace I did 41 to 41 minutes six minutes behind dawn had we done this four or five weeks ago I'd probably finished about a minute in front so yeah. it's cost me about seven minutes over five miles about 120 but it's some calories in the bag we'll see how the leg reacts to it and it's now started to rain yeah, it's amazing because it was, it was really really warm we got here and it was a little bit breezy and we thought oh it's a bit windy and a little bit nippy and then the sun came out and it was absolutely gloriously warm and now we've got a lovely rain cloud above us so i think what we'll do now is head back to the car so good morning and welcome to a glorious sunday as you can see the sun is shining and we're out enjoying that sunshine i'm doing 10 miles and john is accompanying me on his bike 
legs felt a little bit heavy on setting off having raced yesterday uh, John's doing the sensible thing and not aggravating his groin or his hip uh, after doing two runs yesterday